I've always had a vision. A vision to capture and share the most beautiful places on earth. Ever since I can remember, the camera has always been an extension of my soul. I felt truly blessed that my parents stood up and fought for freedom and made me who I am. They were constantly subjected to so-called political screening by police. Their favourite time to do this was between four and five in the morning, always two together and always both holding a gun. My parents made many risky and unsuccessful attempts to cross the border from Czechoslovakia to West Germany. They often had to hide for long periods of time before surfacing again and returning to work. For about one year, the drama of leaving was really on. Hard enough just to say, I must do it. Leave my parents, my home, everything. Harder still to make it out alive. Well, October 1949 was their lucky month. In Free American Zone, it culminated in International Refugee Camp in Germany. Not in big danger anymore, but only in big uncertainty. But full of enthusiasm and optimism. After waiting a year at the refugee camp of where to migrate, the first choice was America. It was full. Canada, they only needed a few farm workers until one day also advertised Australia. They need a lot of people. But what sort of place is it? Burning hot? Snakes everywhere? Not really much was known then. They decided to give it a go anyway. Finally, they left on a boat, the SS Brazil, at midnight, October 12th, 1950. After 37 days of severe seasickness, scarce meals, and primitive conditions, at 4 p.m. on November the 11th, they sailed under the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Australia is what they would call their new home. Their first address was tent number 131. But they were in a free country, happy and ready for the future. Nine years after my parents felt comfortable and established in their new life, they decided it was the right time to raise a family. I always loved the outdoors, you know, the country and getting outside, love to explore, climb trees, catch insects and find new places. Then, eight years later, my life will totally change forever with one thing, the camera. I'll never forget holding that first photograph. It was of a spider web glistening with morning dew. I wanted to capture that abstract. It felt like another world to me. This glimpse into photography was short lived. For the next 10 years, I didn't have the money to pursue my calling. And every dollar counted. I worked four jobs for two years like a dog just to save up. I knew it was gonna be a huge one year trip. When I finally had that plane ticket in my hand to the States, I knew I was on my way. As soon as I landed in the States, I bought a clapped out 69 old Dodge van and hit the road. Once I got here, I discovered the true beauty of America. There's so much going on, it just blew my mind. Here's one of my first slides that I took on my trip. This one I can still remember, standing on the edge of the water. I had a mate take the shot of me, standing on the side of this glacier. I wanted to touch all corners of this unreal place. I drove up the Arctic Circle in Alaska, down to Key West in Florida. I was addicted. 
I knew after seeing all this beauty that I'd be back. I opened a few galleries in Australia, but I wanted more. I knew there was so much potential in America. A couple of years later, I flew back to the States, lived on a boat in San Francisco, and opened a gallery there. After a couple of years in San Francisco, it just really wasn't doing it for me. I wanted to go somewhere else. Vegas had that really big name about it, so I just decided to open a couple of galleries here. When I got to Vegas, I stayed in the Circus Circus RV parking lot for a year. I didn't quit until I got what I wanted, the lease at Caesars Palace. It's not just a photograph that I'm chasing. It's a mood and a feeling. It's what I live for. Maps and weather forecasts are one thing, but timing's everything. It's like a sixth sense knowing exactly where to go. Slowing down and touching Mother Nature's soul allows me to rediscover myself. The weather controls my life. Sometimes I get my ass kicked by Mother Nature. But I need to feel her power before I press the shutter. I have a strong connection with her. With every step that I take, I'm in total awe. There's always something really exciting about packing up and heading out on a shoot. It's my high. Witnessing moments that no one gets to see.
this world such a beautiful place? Get outside and be inspired by it. People always ask me, what's your favourite shot? And when I think about it, I haven't taken it yet.